Jets are in the playoffs in part because of good coaching. Bob Murdoch got more than expected from the Jets. Likewise, John Muckler from the Oilers. The key to the Oilers' success has been the career season of a Hart Trophy candidate. It used to be Wayne Gretzky's team. Now it is Mark Messier's. The Oilers won four Stanley Cups with Grant Buren goal. A shoulder injury has him on the sidelines. Bill Radford is in his place with Pokey Reddick backing up. Thomas Steen leads the Jets. He's over his back injury and in the lineup when it matters the most. And so are rookies Bob Essenza and Stefan Beauregard who will try to give the Jets solid goaltending. Tonight, the Stanley Cup playoffs begin on Molson Hockey Night in Canada. Brought to you by Molson Canadian. What beer is all about. By Ford of Canada, where quality is more than a commitment. Quality is job one. By Esso, going that extra mile. And by Pepsi. Got what it takes. Coliseum is a difficult building in which to win if you are not the Edmonton Oilers and the Winnipeg Jets know it. They did not win here all season, have never won here in the playoffs. Those are the odds against the Jets and in favor of the Oilers as we begin the Stanley Cup playoffs. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Molson Hockey Night in Canada and to Northlands Coliseum. It's the time of year when a hockey fan can ill afford to be too far away from the television set. A change in playoff scheduling with the conferences playing their games on alternate nights means time off for the players, but none for us. We could potentially have a game of night for you for the next six weeks. And here at Northlands tonight, our focus is on the Oilers and the Jets. Consensus is, on the heels of a season in which both teams achieved more than expected, it could be a long series between two skating teams. For more, let's go to Don Whitman and John Garrett. Thanks, Scott. Hi, everybody. In any playoff series, there are keys to how successful a team will be. And tonight, John Garrett, we're going to compare the Oilers and the Jets in a number of key areas. And as an old goaltender, let's start with the men in the nets. I'd have to give the edge to the Edmonton Oilers in goal. Bill Ranford played 56 regular season games. He was player of the month. He had some playoff experience. Gives the edge there to the Edmonton Oilers. What about team defense? The Winnipeg Jets are really committed as a team to playing a good defensive system. Their forwards come back. There you have to give the edge to the Winnipeg Jets. And team offense? Team offense, the Edmonton Oilers have Mark Messier, Yari Curry. Offense, they score some goals. You have to give the edge there to the Edmonton Oilers. Special teams are most important to playoff time. And these two teams are very evenly matched in special teams. Power play because they have good goal scorers. You have to give the edge there to the Edmonton Oilers. And penalty killing, the number one team on the road, the Winnipeg Jets, you have to give them the edge in penalty killing. And intangibles can always be a key as well. I don't put much stock in that stat there. There's not many players left from those series. But the Edmonton Oilers have that star quality. They have the Mark Messi that can rise above the crowd. And you have to give the Edmonton Oilers the edge in that intangible category. So having taken a look at the two teams in those categories, let's see how they compare. They're very evenly matched, but you have to give the slight edge to the Edmonton Oilers. The Edmonton Oilers had a slight edge during the course of the regular season, winning five and losing three. Stanley Cup playoff hockey returns in just a moment. 